Hey guys, my name is Callie. I'm gonna be the makeup artist here today. I'm gonna be transforming Tina into a character from Sharp Objects, Emma. And in this scene that we're transforming her into, uh, she's gonna be um, poisoned. Let's do it. So I always start with a beautiful skincare regimen in the beginning. I think it's super important um, for anyone who's trying this out at home or just doing makeup in, in general to start with skincare. For Emma's look, it's very, very natural. So you wanna really focus in on her natural skin and beauty. So now I'm gonna be using some cream-based foundation on her beautiful skin because it just melts into her natural oils and it just, it, it's a no makeup makeup look. And I like to put foundation on in a dry brush technique. So meaning that you're just putting a very, very small amount on your actual brush. So now that I have a base matching, I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of a lighter foundation just to establish that she's sick, pale. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder to just mattify certain areas of her skin. So even though your skin gets pale when uh, you're sick, there's certain areas that are um, like hot spots on your face. And it's usually around the nostrils and around the eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with a bit of blush. And it's, it's a super easy hack to make yourself look sick. And already you can see that redness. It looks like she's been maybe blowing her nose or she had a, a bloody nose prior to this, who knows. So now I'm gonna go in with a kind of taupe almost like grayish tone that you can easily make shadows with. And if you just look at her natural line over here, I'm just gonna kind of put more, deposit a little bit of color there just to deepen that. So already that's already reading like she's tired, but I'm gonna step it up a, a notch with uh, the next step, which is to put a little bit of redness around the eyes and that's just totally gonna read that she's sick. So I'm just gonna be smudging this over her, her lash line. And you're gonna wanna use something that's a little bit deeper in color, like a almost raspberry tone, because that, that creates the um, illusion of broken capillaries around your, your eyes. She has very sunken under eyes. I don't wanna um, focus in too much her top lid, but underneath, we're gonna be putting some kind of taupey brownish tones there to create some dimension. So even at this step, if you didn't know that Tina was playing a character, you would totally think that she was sick and it doesn't look like makeup and that's what you're trying to go for here. So now I picked up a bunch of uh, cream colors that you can mix together. I'm using this blue and this green to create a vein-like color. So she has some vein, veins going on over here that are coming through her makeup, um, and I just wanna accentuate those. So now I'm gonna extend a little bit of the vein work into her chest. So now I'm gonna go in with a natural shadow tone um, to accentuate her collarbones, um, to trace along her, um, her neck, to make it look like she's super dehydrated. So now I'm gonna be pulling her hair back to put into a wig cap to be able to put the wig on uh, nicely. And a good way to flatten it is by doing braids. So when choosing a wig, um, there's a lot of different varieties that you can go for. For Tina and for Emma's character that we're creating, I got a human hair synthetic blend. So it's able to be manipulated with heat tools like uh, natural human hair. So now I'm just gonna position this and I'm gonna secure it with some bobby pins. And to really make it secure, you have to bobby pin it into the actual wig fabric. So this is our finished sick poison ammo look from Sharp Objects.